Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Wizard of the Reads, and as always guys, I'm Andrew, and today guys, today I got another book tag for you, but before we get to that book tag, make sure you are liking and subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you can get regular updates for when I put out new content. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and that said today, today I got a book tag for you guys. Uh, this is an original tag that was created by my good friend Jake, uh, the bookish drummer, uh, and I'm going to have his video linked down below in the description. Uh, he uh, created this drumming book tag. Unfortunately, he is the drumming expert. If you want to go see what all of these things mean and how they associate with drumming, make sure to check out his video down below. Or if you just want to see me act like a fool in front of a camera, keep on watching, guys. Uh, that said, this is a 15-question book tag. And uh, yeah, let's get right on into it. So, number one, the drum roll. Uh, name a book with a great buildup. And really, the only one that came to mind here for the first prompt is going to be Mistborn, The Final Empire. From where we start to where we end in this book, this book could have been easily been a standalone. Like, literally, from street urchin to just this powerhouse. I love what Vin is able to accomplish here in this story. It is so bloody good. <laughs> I love the buildup in there. It just keeps you reaching for more and more and more and more. Uh, downbeat. Again, I don't know what that, dr that, that drumming term means, but uh, number two, downbeat. Name a book that made you sad or depressed. And guys, for me, uh, I recently read this last month. It's Fool's Errand. It's book two in the... No, this is book one. Book one in the Tawny Man. And this was an emotional gut punch. Like, I just... Can't believe it. it just smacks you right upside, just uh, right upside the head. And it dealing with what happens in this book is just, oh, it's heartbreaking. But it's just written so beautifully in the way that only Robin Hobb can achieve. And for that reason, I love this book. I love it so much. All right. Even though it made me sad. But because we've done number two, it means it's time for number three. And number three is Upbeat. Name a book that made you happy. And I just finished this last week. Guys, that is going to be Night Watch by Sir Terry Pratchett. What Terry Pratchett accomplished here in the sixth City Watch book in the uh, City Watch collection of Discworld is absolutely phenomenal. He captured, recaptured the magic of Guards Guards while still making a fresh and unique story that is full of heart and just gets down to the root of what that subseries is about. I freaking love this book. I was smiling ear to ear. I could not put this book down. I read this so quickly. I think in like two days, maybe three days. I don't know, but I really, really loved, and I was grinning the entire time. I read Night Watch. And if you think that's the only time uh, Terry Pratchett's gonna appear, you are mistaken! All right, uh, number four. Boom, right into it, offbeat. Name a book that felt unique to you. And for me, uh, that's going to be Sinlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. Uh, I have not really read a whole lot of steampunk fantasy. And for that reason, um, when I jumped into this, it was very much not like high fantasy. It felt very grounded. But at the same time, it's got a mystical feel through it. And the tower is a unique setting. And Sinlin is an atypical protagonist in a fantasy world and for that reason it was just so unique and fantastic and i love me some sin all right it must mean that it's time for five the crescendo uh name a book that just got better as you read it and that's going to be legacy of ash by matthew ward this book uh i was about 100 pages into it and i remember messaging my friend ali um book binge and I was just like, hey, I saw you did a review for this. Does this get better? She's like, here, take a look at these resources. Uh, get yourself kind of refreshed because the author has it like literally on the back of the book is like the resource website. Uh, if you get confused and lost and it kind of helps you there. And after I kind of took a quick peek in that, like the book just grabbed me and took off and got so good. I loved Legacy of Ash and it's got a fantastic cover as well. I can't wait to continue this series. By the end of this book, I was I was so happy. I loved it. I absolutely loved Legacy of Ash. All right, this is number six. This is the decrescendo, and this is going to be my unpopular opinion. 
But name a book that got worse as you read it. And uh, I'm sorry, guys. I got to hold up Best Served Cold by Joe Abercrombie. I actually like a lot of First Law. And I thought this book started out with just 10 out of 10 stellar. I thought this was going to be the best book I've ever freaking read. That is not the case. Um, by the end of this book, I was just so tired. I was exhausted. I felt like I'd eaten a triple-decker double fudge sundae. And I was about to puke from all the... You know when you have too much of a good thing? Like you just kind of feel ill. And that's kind of how... Uh, best Serve Cold left me feeling. Uh, so if you want that, I've got a video for that, which I will link up in the cards, and you can check that out. All right. Uh, number seven is The Drag. Uh, name a book that dragged and you just couldn't get into. You DNF'd it. And that's going to be Patrick Rothfuss' Wise Man's Fear. You can actually see right where I DNF'd it. Smack dab in the middle. Um, yeah, this book, I just didn't get the pacing. I didn't understand omissions. I didn't understand character choices. This overall just didn't work for me. So for that reason, uh, the one that I, I'm still hoping someday to come back to it. That's, that's why I haven't marked. I'm hoping to come back to Wise Man's Fear and finish it out someday. So we'll see what happens, but that is my choice for number seven. Uh, number eight, Ghost Notes. Name your favorite horror or thriller book. And if you follow the channel, this is going to come as no surprise. That's going to be Nightfall or the Nightmare Land Chronicles by Daniel Barnett. I love this series. I've done multiple videos about this. If you see me talking in Discord or something like that, I'm generally recommending Daniel Barnett's Nightfall Chronicles or uh, Nightmare Land Chronicles. I love this series and I cannot wait for the sixth entry. It's fantastic. They're all super short. Um, and yeah, you should definitely, definitely be checking it out. All right. Uh, oh, flamboyant. Excuse me. Number nine. Flamboyant. Uh, name a book with a pretty cover. And I just got this, guys. That is going to be Voice of War by Zach Argyle. And plus, I mean, this is the hardcover version. Just look at that. Ugh, it, these are stunning. I love this cover. And it's a fantastic story as well. I really, really love this story. Now I gotta put the jacket back on, uh, or it's gonna bug me. All right, it's back on. We can put it to the side. All right, so now it's number 10, which is Resonance. Name a book that resonated with you. And uh, that's gonna be The Ember Blade by Chris Wooding. I loved this book. This was such a great recommendation from Patrick Leo. Um, I cannot talk about this book enough. I know Sarah Reeds loves this book. Loves this book. I am trying to spread the word of The Ember Blade and get more people to read this book um, in advance, uh, before the release of book two. It is, it is such a good book. It's a, I would say this is a modern classic and it just, it just, it sits so well in my soul. I love it. Ah! <laughs> All right. Uh, number 11 in the pocket, uh, name a book with great pacing. And you know how I said Terry Pratchett would show up again. That's right. We got guards, guards, guys. Guards, guards has fantastic pacing. It's not even a long book got zero chapters and so because it's got no chapters literally this is just one continuous flowing story and terry pratchett is the master of that where like he's got good pausing points but like the story just flows to where you just want to keep reading it and like honestly you could finish this in one to two sittings it just flows so well from point from where we start out with vimes to what, the shenanigans that happen to where we end with vimes it all just feels like it progressed there rather naturally and it just really 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 works if you can't tell, I really love City Watch. All right, I've got a nice tower of books here. I've got a habit of creating a tower of books. Um, who knows? Uh, number 12, Drum Solo! All right, Drum Solo. Uh, name a great science fiction fantasy standalone. I don't have a physical copy of this, guys. That's going to be Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wong. I love Sword of Kaigen. It's great, and as a standalone, it is just a power punch to the soul. Uh, definitely worth a read. I'll put a picture of it right there if you don't know what it looks like. Uh, let's see. We've got number 14, Buzzworthy. Name a book you're excited to read. Of uh, Oh, hold on. I think I skipped one. Uh, number 13, Drum Battle. Name a science fiction book with a great battle scenes. That's going to be A Time of Courage by John Gwynn. This has so much battle in it. This book is 70% battle. I highly recommend reading the entirety of the Banished Lands saga. All seven books from Faithful and the Fallen to, uh, I believe this one's Of Blood and Bone. Yeah, I forgot the name for a second. I'm sorry. But I wanted to call it A Time of Courage, and obviously the book is called A Time of Courage. I got I got confused. Uh, these things happen. 
But uh, yeah, no, epic battles, just tons of action, and some really good fight scenes. So yeah. Okay, now it's 14, Buzzworthy. Uh, name a book you're excited to read, and that's going to be The Thousand Names. This is book one in the uh, in the Shadow Campaigns. Uh, sorry, uh, this is book one in the Shadow Campaigns. And guys, I am looking forward to some more Flintlock fantasy. I cannot wait to get into this. So, uh, that said, it is time for number 15. A jam session. Let's start a band. Tag some people and create your own hypothetical booktube band. Well, in my band... I need a good leading lady with just good vocals. And I think because she's musically inclined, I have to go with Johanna. Johanna would be perfect to do this tag. She's a great friend. I love talking to her. And for that reason, I am going to be tagging her. Uh, and then uh, because I just wanted to talk up Johanna, I don't actually have any more, um, you know, band-like <laughs> things to, to attribute to these people. But I've got Zara from Books with Zara. This is a, a new channel. Uh, that's uh, launched like about a month ago, I think, and uh, she's absolutely fantastic. I love watching her content, and I would love to see her do this tag. And then the last person that I am going to tag is going to be my good friend Bryce from Shelf Centered. I love talking with Bryce on Twitter. I love just interacting with him on in his comment section on his channel, and I would just love to see Bryce do this tag. And guys, that is the end of this tag. So, um, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of all my answers. Do you know what all these um, drumming terms mean? Let me know in the comments section down below. Or if you want to talk on a more regular basis, make sure to also check the description for the link to the Wizardly Duo Discord. Or if you want to support the channel, I've also got my link to the Patreon there as well. It is not mandatory, but your help is always appreciated. And so, till next time, guys. Peace out. Stay magical. Bye.